As a developer, it can be difficult to get started with new cloud technologies. Whether you're looking to deploy a web app, set up a new database, or run big data workloads, it's often challenging to find the right materials to help you get up and running. This is where Google Cloud Quick Starts come into play. Quick Starts are quick step-by-step -step tutorials that help you get started with new Google Cloud products. They typically cover basic use cases like how to make your first API call or deploy your first Hello World application. Quick Starts can cover several different ways of interacting with Google Cloud products. First, some Quick Starts show you how to get things done from the Google Cloud console. This is where you can manage your cloud resources directly from a web portal. You can do things like create new Compute Engine virtual machine instances, set up new databases, and check on the status of deployed apps. You can also create new projects, set up billing, and manage permissions. Second, there are quick starts to show you how to use Google Cloud command line tools like gcloud, gsutil, and bq, all of which are part of the Google Cloud SDK. gcloud is a command line tool that allows you to do things like create Compute Engine virtual machine instances, deploy web apps to App Engine, and set up Google Kubernetes Engine clusters. gsutil is the command line tool that allows you to interact with cloud storage. You can do things like create new buckets, upload file objects, and download file objects. BQ is a command line tool for interacting with BigQuery, Google Cloud's enterprise data warehouse designed to help you ingest, store, analyze, and visualize big data. And finally, we have quick starts that show you how to interact with Google Cloud via code using our client libraries. These quick starts include instructions and sample code for programming languages like Python, Node.js, Go, Java, Ruby, PHP, c -sharp, and C++. Let's take a look at an example quick start for the Cloud Vision API, which provides you insights about your images using the power of machine learning. First, there's the Before You Begin section, which shows you how to do common tasks before you use any product, such as setting up a new project, enabling billing, and managing authentication. Next, you learn how to install the Cloud Vision API client library for the programming language of your choice. And finally, there are pieces of sample code in different programming languages to show you how to use the client libraries to call the Cloud Vision API via code. For Python, you can just copy and paste this code into a new file called main.py and run python main.py from your command line interface. So where can you find these quick start tutorials? You can find our full collection of quick starts at cloud.google.com slash docs slash quick starts. Quick starts are easy to find in our product documentation. Here in the Cloud Vision API documentation, there's a section in the left navigation bar for quick start tutorials. And finally, we also have video versions of these quick starts where we walk you through how to get started with various Google Cloud products. Check out the links in the description below. And there you have it. Quick starts are easy to use tutorials that show you step-by-step -step how to get started. Make sure to click the like button and subscribe to the channel for more getting started content. We're excited to see what you build.